that set of the day. I missed it, but right as I'm trying to pull out, it's saying something. Here we go. Mexico, crushed a workout. Went surfing with Verde, crushed a surf. Had a phone call with Daly in the morning that got me all psyched up and not having a camera and surfing such good waves was really taking a toll on me, but I just felt like I needed to move. We got what we needed done down there and we made the mission over the border, super successful. Stopped off at my brother's house to pick some things up and I was just driving, you know, you get into your head. You've been spending a lot of time alone recently and I'm just like thinking about specific things and like if I took a break for a while from recording my life, and I started thinking, I'm like, holy moly, recording my entire life is insane, sharing it with the world. And then I stopped, we were at a gas station or something, I was just looking at some comments and seeing how stoked some of you guys were on some of the things. Pretty much just trying to say that you guys are the reason that I do it. Like, it, I record my life, but putting it out there to help others is the whole reason that I do it. If I'm dialed in and I share what I'm doing that helps me and it can help you guys, then that comes back and just makes the whole thing full circle. It makes me feel amazing. I just want to say thank you guys. I'm, I'm glad you guys are stoking on the edits. I'm stoked on where this thing is about to go as we head into this winter here. That's what I needed to explain before I show you guys some of these random little tips that are helping me out. I got to give a shout out to my madre right here. She got me a birthday present. 18 bucks on Amazon. It's literally a fan that you plug in and charge and you can take it off the charger and it still works so good and it's got a massive built-in clip to it so you can clip in wherever you want inspo from Niso Hollywood. He had a little mini one, a little Niso sized one that he brought to Nicaragua and when we didn't have air conditioning, you put that little fan near you, it changes your life. So if you're sleeping in a car like this or if you're just trying to get a nice little fan like that, Amazon 18 beans. And then, dude, the legend, Derek Warden. Definitely seen him if you've been watching the vlog for a long time. He's a legend. I dropped a story just randomly saying, who's got a free GoPro 10? I'm trying to throw it out there to the community. Maybe somebody had a hookup and would get a free one. And um, literally, I think, homie did because he just asked me my address didn't say anything else and he's such a boss that he two dated it and it just showed up in a gopro case this is a brand new gopro hero black 10 not from gopro but from a g himself a supporter of the videos with a 512 gig sd card holy moly that is insane bro i am just so grateful I left my camera with Chris because Chris needed a camera because his GoPro, I guess it's just this bed. Something happened to it when he was surfing and to have it go full circle and to be able to warranty his, get his back to him and give him mine, which I'm going to tell him to give to somebody in Nicaragua down there because he's gonna have my spare nine now once he gets his new one, but the energy, of giving and receiving is so incredible and it's almost sometimes so instantaneous. One thing I wanna get into, we got a nice little breakdown going on right now, is the fact that I said I was gonna break down how I lost so much weight. I have to say, this is gonna be a gnarly breakdown. I was 50 days into the 75 hard and I had to reassess and reevaluate how hard I was going and what I was doing. There were some things I was slipping up on and there were some things that when I started in the beginning, I was more strict with. And then it just seemed like 50 days in, 
I wasn't holding myself as accountable for specific things. And I didn't have it written in stone, so I gave myself like a two or three day window when I was with my brother. I had a bunch of things that I had wanted for the past month and a half or had been thinking that I wanted, been desiring. We had some organic homemade pizza and specific snacks and stuff. I wanna say it literally affected my sleep. It affected my energy levels, overeating in general, even if it's good stuff, even if it's like the organic pancake type stuff where you know it's not really what you should be eating, but I just noticed so many things, so much bloating, so much inflammation and like being slow overall. And over the course of this video, I'm gonna share some of the things that I'm doing and that I've been doing to have lost this 25 pounds in 50 days over that 75 hard challenge. Things like running, eating proper, being active multiple times a day, staying hydrated, drinking water and reading. And I kind of got played by a book that was seeming like it was gonna be all about spirituality and growing and self-help and it ended up just being a biography and I don't know, I just had to restart the challenge. So I'm not even gonna bring up what day I'm on or talk about it anymore until I catch back up to where I was and I'm already nine days in now. So around day 50, you'll hear me bring back up the fact that we're on 75 hard, but we are going to be doing two workouts a day, drinking a gallon of water, reading 10 pages of a self-help book, taking a progress photo and sticking to a strict diet that I have written down set in stone now. And this all leads to the fact that I'm in my car and we're heading to Utah. That's what that whole burst of energy that I got was. We're going to Europe soon, I think. I just throw wild claims out there. I'm just going to start throwing them out there all the time now because I think you guys by now know that if I don't do something that I say I'm gonna do it's not that I'm going against my word it's just that I'm so sporadic and wild and all over the place but trying to go to Europe by the end of the month be in Austria for some snowboarding potentially be on the east coast by the end of this month for a couple pre-season days at Big Snow and for that I got to ship some stuff out in Utah and I got to organize my entire place up there I dumped all my stuff on the floor like straight up two months ago maybe three months ago now and I have some orders that you guys did to get out to you so that I can just be proper with my word and get you guys the stuff that you're ordering. Crazy. I know this is a gnarly breakdown and I have so much more to do, but I can't put it all into this one portion here, but we are at a Planet Fitness. We pulled over on the side of the road. We got nine, eight or nine hours to drive tomorrow. It's 10.30, I'm getting some proper rest. We only got two surfboards on us. We're gonna wake up tomorrow and get right to work. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Better go in. I didn't mean to just barge in here. We did it! <laughs> we did it! All right, that's the reality of taking care of yourself. You get up at seven. By the time you're in the gym, 7.30. Work out till 8.30. Red light therapy and massage chair till like nine. And then by the time you're done figuring out where to use the bathroom and make coffee and clean up all your stuff, it's 
10 o'clock and we're getting on the road. Like I said, we got an eight and a half hour drive today to Utah. Just legitimately poached an abandoned taco restaurant near a Starbucks. I get my hot water from Starbucks. I don't have an energy source on me here. I don't have a charger. I don't have like a jackery or anything to actually plug into. Rolled inside, they were painting everywhere and there was a couple local dudes just super confused why I was in there. No one was answering and then he brought me into the back, let me use one of the outlets and said, get out of here before the boss shows up. <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do. We're making moves today. We're gonna be in Utah, hopefully by sunset. Woo, dream is real. They stoked down. We're moving slow. I, halfway through, I ripped off the tire and the cooler from up top and I'm trying to see if that helps. I'm getting literally like 13 miles a gallon, which is so crazy. But we got one workout in this morning. We still gotta get our second one in outdoors. So I figured since we're not surfing and we're not snowboarding, let's throw the skate shoes on. And I just Googled skate park. We're here in Cedar City, Utah, still about three and a half hours from Salt Lake. It's already five o'clock, so I wanted to get some skateboarding in before the sunlight goes down. So let's see what we can't manage right here. Still haven't eaten a thing all day. A little bit of bulletproof. That's what's keeping your boy nice and slim on the LBs. I feel like when I drive or when I fly, when I do things that I'm just sitting all day long for hours, there's really no better of a time for me to pick for a fast. Maybe I'll just break it after this fasted cardio here. Money, little session. Perfect timing on that last backside flip. My lace broke on 
honestly, these disturbingly old shoes. I shouldn't even throw new laces in them, but I've been holding on to these shred skate laces. And they ended up in Mexico and I just brought them back with me for years. I don't even remember who, but just shout out to the homie who sent these. Shout out to anybody who sends anything to keep the dream alive. Any little knickknacks and like projects that you guys have that you're starting off. I have too many clothes. I always usually have to turn down the clothes, but everything else is so cool. And to be able to share it with my community to give you guys a boost and some stoke is amazing. And I also want to explain how I want to figure out a way I can host like a continuous GoFundMe type of deal that isn't for me, it's always for other people. There's that dude, Dream Machine or Charlie or whatever, and he's always giving back to people that like really need it. And there's so many people in the snowboarding community, I see so many things, so many legends who just like can't even afford season passes. And if we always had a fund going that we were able to just, as soon as it hits a certain threshold, give it to somebody in need, somebody gets all their gear stolen or something, you know, there's a way to submit entries of like how or why you may need help. Being able to offer that would be so sick. Every couple of weeks, just give somebody something so amazing because when everybody chips in just a little bit, you can make a huge difference in one person's life and it's like impossible to do all of this stuff on our own. I remember I used to have people who literally helped in like 2018 and 19 purchase my season passes for me. Literally donated me like two grand for an Epic and an Icon. Since then, I've been able to buy like four people full season passes and I'm just not in a position to do this. I literally only have my Epic right now. I'm still waiting to get the Icon. I've just been slacking and honestly saving because I have to literally get two passes. I have to get one for myself and one for a filmer. So $4,000 is just an insane amount of money to chip in right at the end of the season. And I'm not even asking for it myself. I'll figure out how to do it myself this year, but to be able to do that to other people would be so cool. So if anybody has any way that they know how they could help set that up, like structure it so that you could actually see the donations and see the bar and how much we're being raised and like what exactly it's for. I'm just not savvy with the whole tech like that, but if somebody can help set that up. That would be a dream, full nonprofit. We're not making any money off of this. Just deposits in straight to the person. No Oprah schemes around here. Let's go. Heavy claims. Stoked up, dude. I'm ready to start. 